Hey all, Insomnia from UnrealTech.net here. Excuse my absence lately, I've been very busy with a large project. So Crytek has shocked the indie game world by releasing CryEngine 5, the entire source code and all, less than a month after they sold their source to Amazon who released it under the Lumberyard name. Now, CryEngine 5 is a bit different than Lumberyard, however, it is very similar to CryEngine 3 SDK, which was available before. However, they have changed things a lot, and it's not the easiest engine to use if you compare it to, say, Unity or Unreal. So today I'm going to show you some of the basics so that you can start messing around in CryEngine. Now, when I first started up a project in CryEngine 5, I basically had no idea what I was doing. I was clicking on buttons, trying to create something, because in Unity or Unreal, you have a default level that it starts with that you can just start placing objects in. Now, CryEngine 5 does not ship um, in the stock engine with any assets to really use. You can import them very easily from from some of the example projects or your own but straight out of straight out of the engine there's very very few to use so the first thing that you're going to need to do to get working is to go to the file button and new and that's how you get started that creates a new level so let's create a new level we'll just call it level zero zero so let's put an underscore there just so it's a little clear and under the folder level since that's the only folder we have in our project at this moment uh, our height map resolution will just keep to 128 by 128 and one meter per unit small nice nice and small and quick and we'll make it low uh, low texture dimensions just for speed in terms of recording and we'll hit OK as you see this now creates this little world if you will now there's no stock materials applied you have to find or create them or import them however let's look at some of the basic controls so by left clicking and holding you can select objects with a drag box by right clicking and holding you can look around with a camera and by using the W, A, S, and D keys, you can move left and right and forward and back while you're looking around. You also have the middle mouse button, which allows you to move up and down. And lastly, by holding the middle mouse button and right mouse button, you can zoom in and out. But for the most part, it's similar to Unreal in that you can use the arrow keys or WASD to move around while looking where you want to go. So now this checkered pattern here, this is a terrain. We have a skybox above us with a nice bright sun. And so if we want to edit this, we go to the terrain editor here and it gives us a very familiar tools. We have sculpt, paint, minimap, etc. So we can sculpt and I'm sure you're all familiar with those tools and you can create some fairly interesting stuff. I'm, I'm not gonna go over the specifics today, but this is how you can create basic, uh, basic worlds, basic trains very easily. It's, it's just intuitive as it needs to be, but if you don't know how to create that first original level, you'll be stuck. Uh, or at least I was stuck and I know a lot of people were stuck saying I can't do anything now excusing the terrain editor we won't get into that today we'll make some separate lessons on that how do you actually place something let's say you've imported something or whatever that's called a brush in CryEngine so if you have something to add you can simply drag it into the level now we don't have one so we're going to use what's called an area now that's just like a volume in unreal engine so let's start with area box one of the simplest ones you just select area box and then you can move it into a section and you can click the place very very simple so i'll just move it right there and then using the one two three four keys i've got them remapped to q w e just because i'm used to that 
um, but the one, two, three, four keys are what's used for all the translation options by default. And so you can just drag the sliders up and down to actually translate an object as you usually would. You can also, of course, type in the values over in the properties panel. Like so. Very, very easy once you get used to it. Now, if you click away, however, um, it's not in our level explorer. To see that, um, you have to go sh to view, show full hierarchy. And if you expand it, you see now we have area box two. One of the other things I want to mention just in this very quick intro video is the game mode. So go going to game, switch to game, or control G brings you into the game. And again, you can use the same controls to uh, move around within the game as if it was a default pawn in Unreal Engine. Um, but what I found is I didn't know how to get rid of it. There's no stop button, there's, there's no way to get your cursor back it seems, but you just hit escape or control shift G and that will get you out of the game mode. So I'm gonna leave it off there for now and just showing you that I'm gonna be creating some videos on CryEngine intro, materials, um, prefabs, we'll look at brushes, we'll look at AI, we'll look at coding in C++, C Sharp, and uh, maybe some LUA. And so anyways, we will leave it off there and we will see you guys next time. So remember, create your way.